Hey guys, I'm Angeline and this is your Game of Thrones episode recap. In Sunday night's season 3 finale, we're taken to the twins where the Stark camp is being burned to the ground and Stark men and Bannermen are being slaughtered. Before Arya and the Hound are able to escape the madness and the chaos, they see Frey men leading Rob Stark's body around the campgrounds with Rob's head replaced with his direwolves as they chant, Here comes the King of the North. Not a pleasant sight, and especially for Arya, who's already lost her father, and now her brother and mother. But Arya starts her revenge as she and the Hound run into a group of Frey men in the forest. She goes postal on one of the men, stabbing him in the throat multiple times, while the Hound kills the rest of the men in order to protect her. At the end of it, Arya gets the coin she received from Jacques and Hagar from last season and whispers those magic words, Valar Morghulis. Can't wait to find out what happens with her next season. At King's Landing, a small council meeting is held as news of what happened at the Twins is shared between Tywin, Cersei, Joffrey, Lord Varys, Grandmaster Pycelle, and Tyrion. Joffrey and Tyrion go at it as they usually do, but then Lord Tywin and Joffrey get in it as well. Needless to say, Tywin wins as he sends Joffrey to his room to take a nap. Yeah. As Tyrion enters his room to tell Sansa the news about her brother and mother, he finds her by the window silently crying and we can all figure out from here that she found out. Bran, Hodor, Jojen, and Mira run into Sam and Gilly as Sam helps them find safe passage to go north of the wall. Sam and Gilly make it back safely to Castle Black, where Sam tells Maester Aemon everything that had happened from Lord Mormont's death to the army of White Walkers. Maester Aemon goes to Sam and tells him to send out all the ravens to the lords and noblemen in Westeros, informing them of the war that is to come. Sir Davos sneaks Gendry out of the castle at Dragonstone and sends him out to sea after finding out Stannis and Lady Melisandre's intentions of killing Gendry as a sacrifice to the Lord of Light. Sir Davos is nearly put to death as Stannis has sentenced him for saving Gendry until he pulls out the message that was sent from Castle Black about the war against the dead. Looks like Sir Davos' reading skills have paid off. Stannis would still have sent Davos to his death if it weren't for Melisandre who tells him that Sir Davos has a part to play in the war. And yet, Sir Davos lives to see another day. John runs into Egret who shoots arrows at him after he left her behind during last week's episode. And yet, John survives as he makes it all the way back to Castle Black where he reunites with both Pip and Sam. Jamie finally returns to King's Landing where he finds Cersei in her room and calls her by her name. She turns around and sees him. An end scene from there. Back at the Twins, Walder Frey and Roose Bolton talk of their new positions thanks to their alliance with the Lannisters. Walder Frey, Lord of Riverrun, while Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. More talk between the two goes on as they notice that Lord Brynden Blackfish Tully escaped, but is of no harm as he's only one man on the run with no allies. More talk goes on as Lord Bolton tells Lord Frey what happened in the North as we finally find out the who, what, and where is going on with Theon, you know? Turns out Theon was turned in by the 20 Iron Men he was with at Winterfell. His torturer? Lord Bolton's bastard, Ramsay Snow, who has Theon with him in the Dreadfort. Ramsay sends a raven to the Iron Islands where Lord Greyjoy and Theon's sister find out about his whereabouts and his torture, as they also receive a box that holds what was cut from Theon a couple episodes back, his manhood. Of course Lord Greyjoy abandons the option of getting Theon back, while Theon's sister, well, she just goes all badass as she takes 50 of their deadliest killers to the north to find Theon and bring him back home. And after all that hating on Theon and I did last season and earlier this season, I'm actually hoping his sister succeeds. Guess we'll find out next season, you know? And finally at Yunkai, Daenerys awaits for the slaves of Yunkai to come out of the city. They do, and as Danny delivers a heartwarming speech about the slaves' freedom being their own, they all slowly start chanting Misa, which in another language means mother. Needless to say, Daenerys wins once more at the end of this season and a much nicer ending compared to last week's shocking episode. Well, that about wraps it up for season three. I know you guys are all sad, so am I, but with some good news, we everythinggameofthrones.com started our own Instagram account not too long ago with pictures from scenes from this season, season three. You can find us through our username on Instagram at everything underscore game underscore of underscore thrones. I know, it's pretty long. 
But you know, you can find us through that and follow and like us from there. And our new Facebook page is coming out this summer. So get ready for that. Until next season, I'm Angeline, and that was your Game of Thrones episode recap. Thanks for watching.